I've become a fan of snapdragons because in my Southern California high desert location, they stay green all year round, display a riot of intensely bright colors, and flower up to eight months. Unfortunately, some of the best varieties are only available as seeds, so it looks like I'm going to have to go that route for my garden. The problem with this is that every seed starting guide I've read states that they should be planted with no covering, which leads to low germination rates and many seedlings forming irregular trunks, and that they require light to germinate, which can be a hassle. I decided to test both of these to see if they're true, and if not, what really is the best seed starting technique. Using miracle Grow potting mix, this pot was planted by simply sprinkling a pinch of seed onto the surface and lightly pressing them in. Many germinated, but the rate seemed to be a little irregular. The middle pot was the same, except the seeds were covered with 1 16th inch of sifted potting soil. The germination rate was much higher and the seedlings appeared sturdier. This last pot used a 1 8 inch covering. It seems this was too much because the germination rate was low again. Even though the seeds in the middle pot were covered, it was so thin that some light could still get through to the seeds. The 1 8 inch covering might have blocked enough light to reduce germination. Also, snapdragon seeds are so small that even this thin a covering buried them 10 times their diameter, which is over twice the recommended depth for most buried seeds. Finally, I wanted to test the claim that snapdragons need light to germinate, so this pot was kept in a darkened room. As can be seen, they germinated just fine. They're smaller than the others because they were planted two weeks later. They're too tall and leggy because of the lack of light, but that's because they germinated so fast that they went without light for two days before I had noticed that they'd come up. So, these tests suggest that the best way to germinate sap dragons is to cover them with a very thin layer of light soil and not worry about giving them light until they sprout. These results may be suspect because I only used this one variety of snapdragons for the tests, but I'll soon be repeating them with both Chantilly and 20 snapdragons in the near future to verify the results. Until those tests get posted, I hope you'll visit my main website at waynesthisandthat.com for many more articles. Thanks for watching.